Okay, so this is video two. I'm having the invalid disc error, and I've shown you guys a few things from my last disc on how to try to put it in there to get it to recognize the disc. And then you're looking over here for the, um, the logo. And what I have also discovered is, for those of you who are trying to put this in three, four, five, six, seven times, and waiting for the disc signal to load up. You can also listen. And if you hear that sort of bzz, almost like you're turning off a speaker, that's the, uh, oopsie, I dropped the disc. That's the spinner trying to recognize the reader, I guess it's trying to recognize the disc. And it's having a hard time doing it. So it dies because it gives up. When it catches, it makes a different noise. It almost makes the same noise like any disc reader it goes bzz, like it reads or a record scratch maybe. Oh, it started there. Kind of started for a second. Down the disc, so it's starting to read this. Hmm. I wonder what happens if I put my hand prints all on the back of this, you know? Just touch it all up and get it all mess up the film. And the reader can't read and I'm trying to put it in straight and then shift it around a little bit so the mushroom guy's coming out perfectly right. Th oh, there you go, the little octopus. I don't know, I'm just messing around with this at this point. Oh, it's not reading. So I'm not waiting for this to say invalid disk. Instead, I'm just going straight over here and I'm listening for it to read. I guess it does suck if you've never heard it before. That was it. That was it. I don't know if I'm rubbing my hand all over the game and scribbling it around, if that made any impact, but clearly it read. So I put it in the right way. You kind of saw how I was putting it in with the top. I also know people are having issues with Super Smash Bros. So if you guys are also dealing with this, I'm going to see if I can get that in there on another video. Thanks for watching.